Go on, let God, let go all the worries and anxieties in life. Let God, let God take over it. Don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will take care of itself. Homily on the Samaritan woman. I would like to share with you the powerful and inspiring story, one of my favorite gospel, the encounter of Jesus and the Samaritan woman. This encounter holds valuable lessons that can transform our lives if we allow it to touch our hearts. The story begins with Jesus passing through Samaria, a region where Jews and Samaritans had a long history division of hostility, despite of social norms and prejudices of the time. Jesus initiated a conversation with a Samaritan woman who has come to draw water at the well. In their exchange, Jesus displays extraordinary compassion, breaking through the cultural barriers as the reaches out to her in kindness. He offers her living water, a metaphor for the eternal life that only comes through faith in Jesus Christ. This living water is not merely physical, but a source of spiritual refreshment and a deep fulfillment. As the conversation continues, Jesus reveals his extraordinary knowledge about the woman's personal life, mentioning the fact that she has five husbands and currently living with a man who is not her husband. This revelation shocks this woman. It reveals the deep brokenness and moral struggles. Yet, Jesus does not condemn or belittle her. Instead, he offers her hope, forgiveness, and the opportunity for transformation. He shows her that true worship is not limited to a particular location or religious tradition, but it is grounded in the truth of God and he desires for humanity. Through this encounter, the Samaritan woman experiences a profound transformation or conversion. We call it metanoia. She leaves her water jars at the well, symbolizing her abandonment in her past life, and eagerly goes to the people of her town to share her encounter with Jesus, evangelizing. Her message is simple but profound. Come see a man who told me all that I ever did. Could this be the Christ? This woman became an expected evangelist. She became evangelizer, bringing many Samaritans to Jesus. Her encounter with the Savior not only transformed her own life, but also becomes a catechist for the transformation of the entire community. And that's our mission, bringing others to our Lord. So what can we learn from this powerful story? Firstly, we are reminded of the power of compassion, humility. Jesus did not allow social division or cultural norms to prevent him from reaching out to someone in need. He showed us that every person is deserving of love, grace, kindness, regardless of their background or past mistakes. Secondly, we are called to recognize our brokenness because all of us are sinners. We need God's mercy. Like the Samaritan woman, we all have our struggles, mistakes, and sins. However, Jesus offers us forgiveness, transformation, and healing, and consolation if we come to him with open hearts and ask for help. We can find healing and restoration in his presence. Lastly, my brothers and sisters, the story challenges to be courageous evangelists, announcing that God is fully alive, announcing that
Christ has died, Christ is risen, and Christ will come again. Just as the Samaritan woman shared her life-transforming encounter with Jesus, we too are called to share our faith boldly with others. Our life have the power to bring hope and salvation to those who are lost and searching for meaning. Let us take these lessons to heart and allow the encounter between Jesus and the Samaritan woman to inspire us in our own lives. That may be people, compassion, recognizing our brokenness and sharing the good news with others so that they too may experience the life transforming power of Jesus Christ. Amen. <music>